For basic maintenance, you will need glass cleaner, shop towels, DTG cleaning solution, and a foam swab. Shop towels are important as they have minimal lint compared to standard paper towels. The foam swabs and DTG cleaning solution are included with your machine. Do not use Q-tips as they have large amounts of lint. To begin the cleaning procedure, we are going to release the carriage from the capping station by pressing down on the spring-loaded pin. Once we get that out of the way, we are going to fill the lid from your bottle with a small amount of the cleaning solution. Now we are going to soak the foam swab into the solution. We are going to use both fingers on the levers on the side of the capping station and we're going to pull it towards you. Once you do that, clean every rubber surface around the edges of the capping station. This is the most important part to clean, the outside edges. Alright, once we've cleaned the capping station area, we can reveal the wiper. Just turn the exposed white gear and we will clean the rubber wiper. The solution breaks down the ink and will turn foamy. The foam will not harm the machine. After the wiper is cleaned, we can return it by rotating the white gear and then we can release the capping station. The next step is to clean the bottom area of our carriage. We are going to clean our swab with the solution that we have in the cap. Now we've removed it to show you what part of, to clean. Uh, you're not going to remove it. You are going to disengage the carriage and hover it over the middle part. And you can use a mirror to place under it and clean these areas. The plastic areas, the silver areas around the printhead. Do not clean the printhead unless you are instructed by a technician. Once we finish using the swab, you will take the remaining cleaning solution and pour it into the sneeze container. This will ensure that we never get a clog. When we are done with the cleaning procedure, we will return the carriage to the capping station lock position, and now we will run a head clean by holding the menu button down for 3 to 5 seconds. Now we will take one of our shop towels and rip off a little piece. We will now soak it with the glass cleaner. Now we are going to clean the encoder strip. Take the towel and wrap it around the encoder strip lightly, cleaning up and down. To get the entire strip, remove the carriage and get the other side. As part of the maintenance, you will remove the part of the waste ink tank. You can unscrew it, and we're going to take it to the sink and rinse it out. You do not want to let this overflow. 